Hi everyone and very much warm welcome to this streamed broadcast from Husqvarna Sweden. In this program we have the pleasure of unveiling something truly awaited and something really exciting, right Gent? Yes, it is absolutely an exciting day for all those who are lovers of power and performance, for those that are interested in extreme productivity. Today is an important day for all of our loggers and our tree care professionals around the world. My name is Ingrid Ekström, Marketing Director at the Tree Professional Business Unit at Husqvarna. And my name is Jens Simmons. I'm Business Unit Director for Tree Professionals at Husqvarna as well. So obviously today's main topic is chainsaws. And we're going to start with taking a stroll down the memory lane, all the way down to 1959, with a new era started for Husqvarna, the chainsaw mm -hmm. era. Yes, looking back at Husqvarna's rich history, we have a history that includes firearms, bicycles, motorcycles, getting into lawnmowers, and of course, as you mentioned, in 1959, the chainsaws. Exactly, and it was Husqvarna's tried and tested experience in casting and construction of lightweight engines that allowed our sawmill manager, Justa Arneklu, to try out the idea of building and designing a chainsaw. Mm -hmm. So in the fall of 1959, the Model 90 that you see here in front of us was introduced to the market to really answer three main challenges of loggers. Exactly, and one of them was the weight. The 90 was lightweight. And secondly was the sound level. The Model 90 was significantly more silent than anything else on the market. As a matter of fact, its closest competitor was twice as loud. And of course, number three, the color. The Husqvarna orange color that made it really easy to find in the forest. And from these beginnings, a new era in Husqvarna's history began. A history of innovation and technical solutions that would step-by-step step lead to revolutionizing and changing the forestry industry forever. And throughout it all, one thing has always been in the forefront, the willingness to listen to our users, to develop and advance the industry, to innovate and invent, to better meet the realities and their challenges. Which brings us to today, the 2021. And we are proud at Husqvarna to introduce our latest innovation, a new generation of chainsaw technology the 592 XP and 585. We have with us Mr. Johan Hellendorf, Director of Product Management for Husqvarna's Professional Chainsaws. Welcome, Johan. Thank you, Jan. It's good to finally be here. It's great to have you. Thank you. So, introduce us to our new chainsaws. Sure. Uh, we have the 592 XP here and mm -hmm. the 585 here. Now, obviously, we have two chainsaws. Uh, yep. Why is that? Well, as you mentioned before, we uh, really care for our customers and we listen to our customers. And we know that uh, all of them, they have different needs. Mm -hmm. So here you have one for the customers that are searching for the, the extra premium performance. Okay. And uh, here's one for them who are looking for a, a re reliable workhorse. Got it. So let's start with the 592 XP. <clears throat> Take us through that premium performance that you were just mentioning. Yeah. Uh, the 592 XP uh, is uh, a, a powerhouse designed to do the, the, the very toughest work on the largest trees. Uh, as all Husqvarna chainsaws, it boasts optimized uh, weight and balance, which was, of course is uh, super important of a chainsaw uh, of this class. Mm. Optimizing weight and balance, but let's get right down to the brass tacks of it. How much mm -hmm. does it weigh actually? Uh, without cutting 
the equipment, uh, the 592 weights in at uh, 7.4 kilos. Okay. And the uh, 585 at 100 grams more. All right. Well, <clears throat> they're obviously powerhouses. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, another part of our DNA at Husqvarna is maneuverability. So how easy are they to handle? Yeah, sure. Uh, maneuverability is a uh, true Husqvarna heritage. Mm. And uh, in, in this subject, I could uh, talk a lot. We have uh, put down a lot of effort into this because, as I said before, a change of this class and size, it's even more important. Mm -hmm. And I think we have really succeeded here. But uh, just look at it. The narrow saw body, the front handle uh, really close to the center of gravity as possible, the centered rear handle and its shape, Things like this mm. makes this chainsaw really, really easy to handle. Okay. And um, I mean, the, the front handle is up to three centimeter closer to the best in competition. And this is a differentiator, a differentiator when it comes to maneuverability. Uh, many of our testers, H teamers, they actually prefer uh, this powerful maneuverable chainsaw uh, over other smaller chainsaws, even in climbing applications. Mm -hmm. So that's maneuverability, but of course the real magic happens when you combine maneuverability with the raw power mm -hmm. that we have here. Mm -hmm. So can you take us through that a little bit more? Yeah, yeah, uh, I can. And uh, this is performance, Gent. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have three big claims here. Okay. Uh, we have the most powerful chainsaw in its class. The most powerful 90cc that you can get. Mm -hmm. uh, but not only that, uh, we have the best in class power to weight ratio, meaning the highest power, but in relation to its weight, we have the best ratio. And thirdly, we have the best cutting capacity claim in its class. Mm -hmm. So like you said earlier, I'm sure that our customers can experience everything that you just said there. You can feel it when you run it. But can you actually quantifiably prove that, what you just said? Yes, uh, and otherwise I wouldn't be standing here claiming that. Uh, we have done meticulous testing of third party testing agencies, comparing it with the competition, competitors uh, of the same displacement class and I can say, gent, without a doubt, that this one has the best cutting capacity. Well, the best cutting capacity you can get. All right. So the engine is obviously a big part of that, but there's got to be more to cutting capacity um, and uh, everything that you mentioned before than uh, just the engine. Yeah. How does it all? How does the system all come together? Mm. The 5892 uh, has a part. Uh, from the powerful X-Torque engine that you also have here, of course. Um, an X-Cut uh, C85 or C83 chain, and uh, that further enhances uh, cutting capacity. Uh, when you combine this with the x tough lightweight bar, you get a powerful tool that is surprisingly easy to handle and maneuver. So we discussed a lot about performance and maneuverability, but we also design our saws for reliability as mm -hmm. well. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about that. Uh, yeah, uh, when it comes to reliability, there's a lot of things that I'm very proud of. Uh, just to mention a few, uh, the magnetic fuel filters, uh, the improved air filtration, the uh, heavy duty air filters, uh, I mean, the captive bar nuts, uh, the two-piece crankshaft, the gravity-casted cylinders. Uh, there are basically no compromises when it comes to dur uh, reliability, durability on these saws. Wow. And uh, the 592 is equipped with the uh, third generation of altitude, which uh, further optimizes the engine performance mm. and uh, calibrates depending on external factors such as uh, temperature. Okay. You mentioned the magnetic fuel filter. Yeah. So that's a new thing, mm -hmm. interesting thing. Mm -hmm. So what's, what's, why a magnetic fuel filter? Well, um, 
uh, a magnetic fuel filter uh, catches anything that is magnetic and shouldn't be in the fuel tank. Like metal shavings, iron anything shavings, like things that. like it that. Cap captures that before it reaches the carburetor. Okay. And captured bar nuts, I think, even though that's yeah. not new on this saw, yeah. still worth pointing out that it's nice to not lose your bar nuts when you're out in the field. Yeah, right. exactly. Really good. Um, you mentioned Auto-Tune, right? Mm -hmm. Now, Auto-Tune, it actually enables a new technology that we're putting on these saws for the first time mm -hmm. that we should probably talk about, mm -hmm. also relating to reliability. Yeah. And that's our new Simple Start technology, right? Yeah, exactly. And uh, I mean, that's a, that's, a, that's a big thing because it's the first time we have what we in technical terms call uh, uh, run on choke. But uh, we also call it Simple Start. And it basically, um, you don't have to think about choke and no choke and what mm -hmm. temperature you have if you soak the engine or not. You just pull the start level to start position. Mm -hmm. You pull and go. All right. Yeah. Super simple. That's a big thing. I agree. That is a big thing. But mm -hmm. let's actually talk about another big thing, mm -hmm. and that is Bluetooth connectivity. Yeah, right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Please. Um, both chainsaws are uh, prepared for that. On the 585, you can always retrofit the Husqvarna fleet puck. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, on the 592, uh, it's it's prepared for um, retrofitting the connectivity device, and the connectivity device basically connects all data that you have in the chainsaw mm -hmm. uh, to your um, fleet management system. So this would actually be um, built in, yeah, uh, to the, so it's prepared to actually take this inside the saw. Yeah, it's inside the saw, right? Uh, and that's actually quite an impressive uh, feature. Yeah. for, I think, professionals of, of any walk of life, yeah, being it's... able to use uh, this type of service to track and keep up with uh, a fleet, be you a, a fleet of chainsaws, be you a logger, yeah. uh, contract logger, be you a tree care professional with um, a, a fleet of saws being able to um, to do uh, to get the latest in diagnostics and things like that, right? Yeah, not least uh, the service manager to, yeah. to, to get an an overview, uh, a good sense of uh, control, and um, uh, especially when, when you have multiple source. Right, right. Yeah. Let's actually turn to the 585 now. Let's dive a little deeper into that chainsaw. Mm -hmm. All right, mm -hmm. tell us about uh, what we should know. Well, um, the, the, the 585 is based on the same platform as the 592, mm -hmm. but it's equipped with more traditional technology, technology that you have, are used to, uh, that you have seen before, that you can always service uh, without the, the having, having to use a, a computer, for instance. But it's, <clears throat> it's a modern performance, but through a more traditional technology. So you have the easily adjusted carburetor that I mentioned, the heavy duty air filtration in a robust, durable package. Obviously, there's more uh, things that I mentioned before, like uh, uh, very beneficial features su such as the captive bar nuts, uh, the flip-up fuel caps, uh, the 2K molding uh, fuel window, mm -hmm. uh, 2K molding felling sites. Uh, these are features that both saw have and that will greatly improve the overall handling and, uh, and cutting. Okay. So basically with the 592 XP, if you want the highest end performance and the highest end technology, mm -hmm. that's definitely the saw for you. Mm -hmm. If uh, for the 585, you might be the customer that's looking for the more classic you know, uh, technologies that you're used to servicing, used to working on, mm -hmm. um, but still high mm -hmm. performance, high reliability, and great maneuverability, right? Yeah. So for many of our customers, these saws are actually going to be replacing some classic legacy saws that mm -hmm. uh, are tried and true. Mm -hmm. um, for example, the 390 XP, the 395 XP, and in, in some cases, the 288 mm -hmm. XP. Mm -hmm. So tell us, what is a customer that comes from one of those classic legacy chainsaws to these new chainsaws? What are they going to experience? Well, obviously a lot. Uh, the metrics are in, in fine print, but overall, we've covered it before, mm. but the, the new saws represent significant improvements in maneuverability, 
performance and reliability, both of them. Meaning, I mean, handling, more power, torque, acceleration, mm -hmm. higher cutting capacity, joy of use, but with lower fuel consumption. The new X-Torque engine is simply more efficient. More power, but with less fuel needed. Well, Johan, you've said a lot uh, today, and you've done a great job taking us through your two new chainsaws. But I want to challenge you to summarize it down to one sentence. What does it mean for you, for the folks watching here today? One sentence. What is, <laughs> uh, what's it all about? Okay. Uh, that's really hard, but I'll try. Mm -hmm. Um, modern versions of a Husqvarna classic. Or can I try again? Yeah, I like that one though. <laughs> but uh, but okay, go ahead. Uh, no, it's really it's really sixty years of chainsaw knowledge condensed into two new models. They're just more of everything. Well said. I won't pick which one I like the best because I like them both. So we, we take them both. All right. <laughs> Thanks. Good. <laughs> Johan, thank you so much for so passionately taking us through your two saws uh, here today. I know that you'll be, uh, I'm, I'm sure you're proud of uh, what you and the team have, have brought forth. Yeah. And I'm proud as well. And with that, again, thank you for, for everything you've done for us here. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Really fantastic uh, chainsaws, gent. Best in class. And as stated, the users are the ones we work for, and it's in the hands of these professionals we know if they really are up for the test. Husqvarna has 40 H-Team brand ambassadors around the world, not only testing and using our chainsaws, but also part of the product development. And today we are going to interview uh, one of the H team members, and it's Darren Dean from Canada. So very much welcome, Darren. Welcome. Yeah. Hello. So can you tell us a little bit about yourself and what you work with? Yeah, I'm Darren Dean, and I uh, live on Vancouver Island in British Columbia, and uh, I do lumberjack professional lumberjack shows, and I'm also a professional forester. So I get a unique opportunity to use chainsaws in a variety of different environments. I can imagine. What would you say are the main challenges in your work when working with really large trees? One of our biggest challenges is just the terrain we work in. We work on some steep ground a lot of the times and in some pretty variable weather. So one of our biggest challenges is being able to maneuver through that environment. Wow. Well, Darren, you had the chance to work with both a 592 XP and a 585. Tell us, what was your first impressions with these saws? I actually, my first impression, both of them were actually really amazing saws. Uh, they were quite comfortable to work with, very smooth. Uh, really impressed with, with both saws. Great. Well, we put a ton of effort into finding maximum cutting capacity. It's one of the hallmarks of, of the saws here, and specific for the 592, extra focus for cutting capacity there. Did you, did you notice that performance uh, in, in cutting capacity when you were working with the saw? Yeah, absolutely. Um, it was one of the first things we noticed. We, we were running it with uh, some, some very large bars and in some very large wood a lot of the time and um, a great cutting capacity. It was actually quite difficult to, to slow the saw down in even the largest trees we were in. Both saws are equipped with Husqvarna X-Cut. How does that impact the overall efficiency? Uh, it was, I was quite impressed with the X-Cut chain. We, I'd used it on the 572 previously and running it again on the larger saw, it performed really well. It was a great combination with that power head and that bar and chain combination. Okay. And the 592 has a completely new starting uh, technolo technology. In your, in your opinion, uh, is it easy to start? Yeah, it was actually one of the things I really liked about the saw. It didn't matter whether it was hot or cold, uh, it was just one simple procedure to start it every time. And quite often it was starting on the very first pull. So it was, I was very, really impressed with it. Okay, that's, that's great to hear. It is also equipped with a number of features such, uh, such as Auto-Tune 3.0 and heavy duty fil filtration to safeguard continuously high engine performance. Can you feel this? 
Is it possible to feel it? Can you trust it to run uninterrupted? Yeah, we we use the saw in a variety of different environments and under different loads. We had it uh, set in the forest, running normal cutting, and we had it on a chainsaw mill. And you you could notice the saw making adjustments uh, if it needed to. It was very quick um, from running it at sea level, bringing it up to a thousand meter elevation the, the next day, and the auto tune adjusted perfectly, and the saw always was was running great. So Husqvarna saws are all built with the user's workday in mind. Uh, so the power to weight is in extremely important. The 592 is best in class, or in its class actually. In what way does this affect you and your workday? Yeah, actually, I noticed that right away with the saw. I mean, when we picked the saw up, uh, it doesn't feel like a heavy saw. So it's great to have the ability to to run that larger saw all day long. Um, it's giving less fatigue at the end of the day and just easy to maneuver. So less fatigue means uh, less risk of, of accidents. And it's just an all around great saw. Like you said, our first impression was the saw feels lighter than it, it is on paper. It's quite nice to use. Well, Darren, the 585, is built around the the concept of um, traditional technology meets modern performance. So the 585 has a traditional needle carburetor in it, combined with uh, a lot of the advantages we've already talked about with cutting capacity and, and power and performance. But did you notice any any differences between uh, running the needle carburetor uh, versus the the auto tune? Was there any um, ch special challenges or issues um, with that different technology? Definitely didn't have any challenges with the different technology. Uh, the 585 performed uh, well in different environments as well. Uh, we only had to make some very, very minor adjustments the first day when we started it up from the factory, but uh, it performed really well uh, throughout all the testing we did with it. It was great. And, you know, in a lot of people's mind, that traditional carb is, is a very reliable technology. So I think it's, it's going to be a pretty trusted saw. And the adjustments that you made, was that relative to altitude maybe or something like that? Yeah, I believe so. I mean, it was, we had uh, literally the first time we pulled it out of the box and fired it up, we just made a very minor uh, adjustment so, and then it ran perfect for the rest of our testing. Great. So you would say then that uh, the 585 performs well in uh, no matter the conditions, be it uh, the altitude that you're at, the uh, tough, dirty environments of uh, of west coast logging it, it held up and did the job yeah it held up great and, and we definitely did have it in a variety of different environments and some pretty harsh conditions and it performed great and maybe you um kind of already answered this but with the 585 specific to cutting capacity they did also have the the cutting capacity performance uh to get the job done yeah, absolutely. We had it, uh, the saw running with the 28 inch bar on it. And it, again, it was very similar to the 592 in cutting capacity, whereas it was difficult to slow the saw down. Uh, we put it, we tested it pretty hard in, in large diameter logs in excess of a meter diameter and uh, great cutting capacity. It was, like I said, very difficult to slow the saw down. Well, it sounds like both the 592 XP and the 585 is uh, more than enough to get the job done. It's a, uh, you can rely on it. You can trust uh, either one of these saws for the, the jobs that you do. Yes? Oh, absolutely. I would be very comfortable taking either saw out any day in, in our conditions here. Well, that's what we want to hear. Thank you so much, Darren, for uh, joining us today. Yeah, thank you, Darren. Thank you. It's been a pleasure chatting. Well, no matter where you are in the world, there is a logger or a tree care professional relying on a 90cc class chainsaw today. And Husqvarna's new 592 XP and 585 are truly a new level of performance, a best in class level of performance with more power than ever. Thank you for joining us. Yes, thank you so much.